So you're probably wondering what all this is. Well, let me tell you. A friend of mine, Sean, uh, a few months ago decided he wanted to do a big adventure. He had just had surgery and he wanted something to push him to recover. Now he's an ultra runner like me and we've never done a hundred mile stint in one effort. So we thought it would be a good idea to go. Today's Thursday, I'm uploading this video, making it real quick, gonna go through a little bit of the gear that I have and kind of why I've picked some of the gear that I have. And then, uh, yeah, we're starting at a Koei State Park in South Carolina and hiking to Table Rock State Park. Uh, the distance from point to point through the trail is only 76 miles. We want to do 100. And so we're, there's a spur trail that runs off uh, 12 miles one way, turn around and go 12 miles back and then finish the last. So the last day will be, um, you know, potentially 40 miles. So it should be a fun time. Um, we have a pretty, uh, I've left it to Sean to kind of the logistics of it, when he wants to rest, when he wants to sleep, when he wants to eat and, um, and kind of go about it that way. He's doing a traditional uh, hiking pack, a little heavier than I am. I'm going super minimalist with a 20 liter and kind of going about it that way. And so uh, we'll go through the gear real quick. So to start out with the pack, I have this Osprey. It's a uh, Daylight Plus. It is literally made for like day hiking, but it's a 20 liter, it's small. I have a little uh, GoPro mount with my little Quick Connect right here uh, so that I can have the camera easily accessed. Um, and this will be what carries everything. I have a little uh, flashy green light that if I was to get lost, um, but uh, inside of it, it's got ample storage. And then also I've got a, I wanna say that's like a two liter uh, water bladder, way excessive uh, and would add too much weight to the pack, but that'll allow me to get enough water. And uh, then the strap stays to the side. Uh, the next thing that I always go camping with is a survival blanket. Uh, I love these a lot uh, because I've gotten caught in some stupid situations where I uh, definitely needed these. And um, yeah, I, this will all probably be a base layer to keep uh, me warm at night. Um, and then uh, my sleeping bag is a little smaller, so we'll go to the next, which is my sleeping bag. And I'm not gonna unpack it because uh, it is a sleeping bag. You probably know what it looks like, but it's about a 40 degree sleeping bag, nothing crazy um, and nothing super expensive. Uh, so that is that and that'll go in there. And then we have my clothes. For my clothes, uh, I'll show you kind of what I'm doing for my clothes. So first off, I have my Njinji socks. Uh, I wear Njinji socks on every adventure that I do. I love these things. Uh, my second toe is a little longer than my first, uh, called a carrot toe, and this helps to prevent blisters. I don't, can't tell you the last time I got a blister on my foot. And actually, out of all the adventures that I've done, two weeks ago was the first time I ever lost a toenail. And normally that's like a badge of honor for most ultra people is losing toenails, and I've only lost one. So super excited about that. Love these. If you've never tried them, I definitely highly recommend them. Uh, next is an, uh, an additional pair of shorts. These are Amazon specials. Um, I've really enjoyed them. They're exponentially cheaper than um, my main pair of uh, shorts that I have. And also, um, they are a little bit better quality than my BOAs. Um, I love the BOAs. They're short, uh, low inseam, but I like these. I'll be hiking in those. Uh, and then I have a, a insulated shirt for at night to stay warm. I also have uh, a pair of leggings um, because the temperature will probably be all over the place because it's supposed to rain a majority of the time. And then I have a pair of frog tog uh, pants that 
when it's raining at night uh, and my sleeping bag gets wet, because it's inevitably gonna happen, uh, I can try to stay dry inside of it. So these pants will go on when it's raining and my sleeping bag gets wet. This will go on, this will be on as well. And these will be when I can't take uh, the stench and the smell anymore. Uh, yeah, I'll change shorts. Next thing is my, I have a pair of uh, Brooks arm warmers, super light, super bright. And then I have a pair of, I think they're Reebok or Under Armour, I have no idea what logo that is, but uh, I have a pair of gloves um, and that'll be for the worst case scenario. Those will stay in the pack free floating so that way if I need them, I can get to them quick and I'll have to unpack that. I also have my naked waistband, which I will carry a little bit of food in as well as carry one of my water pouches as well. I'll have two of these um, and just one for backup. So those, this will be on my waist. This will be packed in the back of the pack. Um, also have a rain jacket, uh, super lightweight, is just excessively hot, but it keeps you very, very warm um, and very, very dry. So I uh, have that, that'll be on the side of the pack because like I said, it's supposed to rain a majority of the time. Uh, so uh, yeah. So the next thing we'll get to is um, a stove. It may not be necessary, but uh, coffee is life for me. And so um, I am pretty excited about this. This is my AeroPress, but I've done something a little different and I'll show you. So I 3D printed a little lid to go on my AeroPress because I will put coffee, well, I won't put coffee, but coffee is in there. And I have plenty of coffee for me and Sean on the trip. And now, just pop it back together and then bam, it's a good storage. In here I have my filters, uh, extra spare uh, set of matches, a little burner top, and have an excessive weight cup that I'll take and have that. Next thing I'll have is this, Arnicare. Uh, I really like this gel. I'll take it um, because I'll most likely uh, put it on at night um, on my muscles um, because it just helps with, uh, yeah, it helps with inflammation and it's uh, homeopathic. So I've, I've really enjoyed it. So uh, Arnicare, not sponsored by any means. Uh, have this light and also have another light on my pack in the front. So that way uh, we'll be doing some hiking at night quite a bit. And um, yeah, it should, uh, should be good. So I have multiple bags of uh, protein powder that I will have. Um, it's about 380 calories per bag. So I have you know quite a bit of calories and, and food. Uh, I'm carrying a freeze dried meal as well as Sean is. Um, we also have another pack of uh, snacks there. Uh, I have some of those for just instant sugar burst. And then in this pack, I have some peanut butter, some fig bars, and just some basic Tailwind pack, some Scratch Labs, another Tailwind. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the food that I'll be taking. I don't do a lot of hiking. I have in the past, but um, I think this will be excessive if the weather works in our favor. I, I'm trying to look at this like an ultra. So how fast could I do 100 miles? I think I could do it in 30 hours. That'd be nonstop and it would be with support. So unsupported, 40 hours. We're giving ourselves all day Friday, all day Saturday, and all day Sunday. So we should be able to do it at a pretty easy pace. We'll be able to just click off miles and 
yeah, we'll see how it goes. So um, most likely, if everything goes well, next Thursday, there'll be a video recapping the adventure. So until then, adios.